Hello, everyone. Welcome to another webisode of the AP Language and Composition Rhetorical Writing Series. Today, we're going to take a quick look at seven important rhetorical devices. Let's start with allusion. An allusion is a reference to something well known. It could be cultural, political or historical, mythological, or anything well known. But why do we use allusions? Allusions allow a writer to reference many complex ideas easily and simply. Therefore, a speaker can access complex ideas already present in the audience's mind. Take the example of Frankenstein's monster. This can also affect tone. Our next device is anecdote. Speakers tell anecdotes for many reasons. To supply examples, grant themselves credibility, all kinds of reasons. Humor is also a powerful tool for speakers. It's important to look past the obvious effect of making the audience laugh and ask, what does a speaker gain from this? Another common technique is metaphor and many other comparative strategies. Let's take this simple metaphor. Metaphors can bring clarity to obscure comparisons, as in this example. No matter the example, though, remember to look beyond the mere meaning of the metaphor and always look for the effect. Our next technique is irony, specifically verbal irony. Verbal irony is all about opposites. Now take a look at these folks. Now that was easy to see, but it's not always so obvious. Irony can be hard to spot sometimes. Look for descriptions that become increasingly exaggerated, or for a sense that things are not what they appear to be. Like most techniques, there are many possible effects of irony. But sometimes, the effect of irony is to give the audience an inside look at a topic. Juxtaposition is placing contrasting ideas or items close to each other, making those contrasts sharper. But again, for what effect? Here's a famous example of juxtaposition. This technique can highlight how complex an idea is, or show how time or place is unique, or show how concepts are similar yet different, or other effects of this type. Satire is similar to irony in that satire often uses irony. Satire tries to point out a flaw in something. Satire doesn't always need to be obvious. It can be subtle, but it usually involves mimicry or exaggeration and it usually tries to show the flaws in something. When looking at these or other techniques, remember to look for patterns, not single instances, find evidence of those patterns, explain the effects of the devices, and always bring it back to your thesis. Good luck, and thanks for watching.